So, um, I can't wait to see till we get to the climax of the story. It seems like we're almost there, but not really. But, um, also, it seems like whenever I say, uh, I upload a video within the same day of uploading my previous video, or, you know, within that video, I never end up doing that. So I'll just see you guys when I see you guys, basically, but, um, I've been playing this game for a while, like, nearly a month, I believe, which is unbelievable, but, um, I'm gonna try and finish this game up as soon as possible, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys do, like and subscribe, share if you wanna do that, who doesn't like sharing, but, um, let's finish this game within a couple days, probably, I'll move on to the next game, I don't know what you want it's gonna be, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get into it. Expected. Right. About Johnny Amped for what? Hmm. I was happy about it. Yeah. Okay, what can I do? I'm like, I have to do... I have three more things to do, basically. Um, meet Penum, Judy, and... I have one specific one. Yeah, right here. So I'm gonna do this one. Talk to Johnny. What do I have to do? Not to go somewhere? Okay, never mind. I'll do that some other time if it works, but, um, let me check on Judy. I also need to delete some stuff from my inventory. I think I got everything. Everything is set and ready. So, um, let's go check on Judy right now. Like, nearly three miles away. Three kilometers away, excuse me. I'll just end up fast traveling there. Thankfully, there's one around the corner, so that's good. If Evelyn is here too. I haven't checked up on her in a while, so that'll be neat. In the bathroom. Oh fuck. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was I was only gone an hour. You checked your pulse? V She's gone. Wow, dude, as soon as I say something. Come on, man. You checked your pulse? V She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out, and I got back to... Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something, that it was off. Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Aw, oh, man. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. 
I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. No, she's right. Can't live her like this. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? <laughs> no, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Did you wait outside? Anything for you. Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bama Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Sorry, no can do. Cheapskate. Could get hooked again. I don't want that on me. V, just give me a fucking smoke. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, play Fresh up. Shit, try, V. I know you're not. How? Don't piss me off. Not now. Fine. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Um, I actually wonder what they did to her. I mean, they had her plugged up to something. So, um, I really don't know what to say here. Uh, I don't want to leave her out thinking I don't know what to do for her either. So, um, stay strong. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. 
He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wow. The turn of events, man. I thought that guy was actually a good guy for a minute, but I don't know. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. God, I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. <laughs> 